Carroll County, Georgia. It's nearing bedtime for most in this small southern town. But it will be quite a while before these officers get to turn in. A man in a stolen sports car is on the warpath. The wide open road gives him plenty of room to move. But officers can also use the empty highway to their advantage. One unit hurries ahead of the suspect to lay down spike strips. Since traffic is sparse, he's free to choose the best location. He sets up and radios dispatch. Dispatch, how far are they from exit one? One mile from exit one. Swelling sirens announce the approach of the high-speed runner. The pursuing officers hang back as they near the spikes. The suspect sees the officer's hesitation and punches the accelerator. He raises his speed digit by digit, thinking he's home free. But not if police have anything to say about it. The suspect rolls right over the spikes, a debilitating blow for any car. But moments later, the suspect decelerates. Riding on only its rims, the sports car can't get the traction it needs to stay ahead. Police have the suspect right where they want him. A backup unit rushes in. The suspect tries to block him from passing. The officer maneuvers around the vehicle and seizes the moment. He punches the suspect's back bumper. The car fishtails, but the suspect straightens out and pulls away. The officer gets into position and tries again. The second hit barely phases the driver, but before he can gain any distance, the officer strikes once more sending the suspect's car reeling to the shoulder. Once again, the relentless driver straightens out and heads back onto the road. For some reason, he just won't take the hint. The suspect fights hard to hold the wheel, but there's only so many hits one car can take. And this car has reached its limit. The officer's final ram sends the suspect skidding out of control. It flips onto its side and comes to a rest. The madman is finally stopped, and officers rush the car. But now they face a new dilemma. The driver's door is facing skyward, and it's jammed shut. Smoke begins bellowing from the hood. Officers react swiftly. Here's fire sling. After several agonizing minutes, the door is pried open and the suspect removed. Police are finally able to take the man in. Back at the station, they learned why he acted so irrationally. The suspect is a mental patient in need of a doctor's care. Although police had to knock hard to get through to him, they were able to stop him without serious injury to anyone. 